four years, the start to spring has signaled another pivotal visit to the doctor for a long and loud test inside this tube so doctors can take a peek deep inside my brain. I think you have early MS. MS, MS, MS. MS stands for multiple sclerosis or multiple scars. That's what these white spots are, much like damage to the insulation of an electrical cord. One thing I've learned in this four-year fight is that all autoimmune disease has a trigger. I believe mine was dental work involving silver fillings, which I discovered too late, are 50% mercury. You are exposing people to a very potent neurotoxin and the government's doing nothing about it. I recently met world-renowned chemist Dr. Boyd Haley at his lab in Lexington. We use different samples. Haley, a retired chair of the chemistry department at UK, has taken a lot of heat for his discoveries on the effects of mercury in silver amalgam fillings and has published scientific papers linking these fillings to Alzheimer's disease. It's so toxic that you can't add it to a system and not see something go wrong. Since my symptoms immediately started in the days after that dental work, my research turned up plenty of other scientific papers linking silver mercury fillings to MS, too. Mercury comes off fillings every time you stimulate them. As well as this video called the smoking tooth from a dentist showing mercury vapor coming off a silver filling. But my journalistic instincts still left me wanting more. Show me. So Dr. Haley brought out his mercury analyzer. There's a dental amalgam. And if you take this, hold it in front of this thing which absorbs it, there goes the mercury. What, what does that tell you when that needle just went all well, the way it, Well, you look on the side, it tells you how much mercury there is per cubic meter, how many milligrams per cubic meter. Dr. Haley repeated the test with other amalgam fillings made by 10 practicing dentists with a toothbrush and brushing the fillings drinking hot liquids even chewing all release more mercury vapor and what does mercury vapor do it goes right through the roof of your mouth it goes right into the, uh, the nasal mucosa into the mouth and into the body it gets into the bloodstream and it gets distributed throughout the body a scientific fact in published research from the world health organization which shows 74 to 90 percent of inhaled mercury vapor is absorbed and combines with body tissues he says the first time he saw this, he was floored. I couldn't believe that the FDA would approve of something that it was so easy to show the mercury coming off and place it inches from my brain. And these mercury fillings are the trigger in many cases. I had the opportunity this past year to testify before the FDA to tell my story. The FDA declared at the time it was planning a new announcement on amalgams in December. That never came. In my lifetime in America, do you think these will be outlawed? They will be abolished in the rest of the world before they're abolished in America. It makes me so mad. But that's what's going to happen. The FDA uh, <clears throat> would lose face. Dentists, the American Dental Association, would be faced with multiple lawsuits and contempt. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Meantime, I'm continuing down a radical and controversial path back to health. Tell me if it gets sharper or lighter or stays about the same as I go down. It gets... Uh, lighter about this point right here. I'm seeing an osteopathic doctor who I believe through God's guiding hand has put me in remission. Disease cannot exist where there are no obstructions. And so I see what I do as getting rid of the obstructions and then let the body do what it's supposed to do. A few years ago, I had what I believe was the biggest obstruction, those mercury fillings removed using the only safe protocol there is. You comfortable? Yeah, I'm good. Since then, I've been undergoing IV chelation therapy to draw heavy metals out of my body. The body's ability to heal is unparalleled. So that's a gift from God. Now I just have to hope and pray that this four-year scan is as good as the last three.